This is the aquaponics greenhouse. I think I'll show a little video. Have a lot of people with some questions. We have outside raised beds. Potatoes are doing good down in there. I need to heal them up and bury them. We have asparagus planted. Left hand side. And then we have comfrey, horseradish, and garlic. All wonderful outside plants. When we come in, we have a raised bed inside, starting some seedlings, some oak seedlings. We have some flowers, some peas, some beans. The beans are growing up pretty tall. Have a few pepper plants, not doing so well, not doing too bad. There's the start of some beans. Here we have some more garlic. We have some onion on the back side. I haven't got the temperature adjusted quite where I want it to. And here we have the aquaponics system. All the water starts here in the sump and it returns via a swirl filter. The water turns around, the solids settle to the bottom. From here, the water is pumped to the grow tanks. I have tomatoes, beans, peppers, pineapple, figs, bananas, all in West Virginia. Hopefully it stays comfortable in here year round. Got some tomatoes. Pineapples I just planted a couple weeks ago. Not really turning up yet. Got some marigolds and some lettuce that I seeded. My banana plants are starting to unravel their first new leaf. My figs are doing pretty good, about twice as big as when I bought them. Here is my duckweed tank. Nice duckweed. I've already harvested some duckweed, and I feed that back to the fish. Here we have the air pump. We have the tilapia tank. It's not feeding time, so you won't see the tilapia yet. Might see one, but there's about 150 of those down inside the tank. Here I have tomatoes in buckets suspended into the water. They're doing pretty healthy. And I have my goldfish tank. These guys are asking for some more food. So here I'll feed them while I got it on camera. These were all 20 cent feeder fish last November. It's now May 5th. And as you see, they're, they're growing. I really like that white and gold one. He looks beautiful. He's going to be an awesome specimen when he grows up. That one as well. And a couple of albinos. And a couple with some black markings that are pretty cool as well. And then my calico one. Calico one looks pretty cool. Don't know if he's a true goldfish. I think somebody accidentally got him in mixed up at the pet store. Have any questions? Give me a holler.